guys. <laughs> welcome back to my channel, Ab Fab. My name is Denise, and welcome to my channel. If you're one of my Fab Squad family members, then mwah, so great to see you guys. Um, this is kind of an interesting video that I've never done before. I know, I say that quite often, but surprisingly, there's lots of videos in all the videos I've done that I don't do too many of, if that makes sense. I posted a question the other day, whether you guys would love to see a video upload of all the things that I got on my birthday. So 100% of that answered that questionnaire said they would love to see it. And I just wanna put that out because, you know, I. I'm not one of those people that would generally brag about it. So anyways, that's what this video is about. It's going to just be all makeup related because uh, for those of you that know me, you know that just brings me such great joy aside of spending time with family and friends. Makeup and YouTube is my hobby and my happy place. So if you're like me and you love makeup and you're just curious to see gifts that I got and I want to preface this by saying gifts because even though I got money to go to Sephora to pick out the things I wanted I didn't personally buy any of these things so um, like I said if you're interested in seeing what I got then just keep watching this video <laughs> Uh, anyways, I've got all my stuff here. I don't really know, but I'm going to just start off with the obvious Sephora uh, birthday gift because if you're a Sephora, um, you know, rewards customer, if you're like just an insider or a VIB or a VIB Rouge, uh, then you were able to pick out a gift. Every year on our birthday, we are able to pick out a gift. This year, there was two options. They had the Kat Von D and then they had the Drunk Elephant. And uh, so, of course, I picked out the Drunk Elephant. So this was my birthday gift from Sephora. So thank you, Sephora, because um, I certainly spend lots of money in your store, along with the millions of other customers uh, that keep you going. And it's really nice to be given some rewards back. And um, I thought it was a really good reward. We'll just show you what you get in case you're curious. Um, but I'm sure if you've had your birthday, you will see. Uh, first of all, you get the um, number nine a jelly a cleanser and uh, you probably can't see anything but that's what that looks like and actually it's really good size I've used it several times and there's still quite a bit in there so you only need a small amount for the jelly cleanser and then the other thing uh, that they put in was the proteiny polypeptide cream and again a nice size I don't have my glasses on but it looks like there's five mls in there so so that's a pretty good size I would say for a sample I'd call that a deluxe sample and you can read up all about the poly proteiny polypeptide cream by drunk elephant it's really really a good one my mom went to California and she came back and she bought me a couple of really cool things so I'm just going to show you what she picked up kind of pre birthday uh, in California, but she picked me up this really cool little travel brush um, and it is by Sonia Kashuk and it is the Professional Retractable Kabuki Powder Brush and it is such a cool thing. If you've never had a retractable, you know, makeup brush before, they're great because they come in their own container. It is absolutely beautiful. It is really, really, really dense. So it's perfect for a powder brush and it's so soft. It's a kabuki brush. What can I say? Anyways, really cool. If you're in the States, then you're able to sort of purchase the Sonia Kashuk uh, products a little bit easier than we are in Canada because of course we would get that through Target and alas, as you know, Target did not last in Canada. The next one was the Sonia Kashuk, and this was basically their mini trio of makeup sponges, all with different sizes. I'm just gonna show you because they kind of really cool. They have this like marbled finish to them, which I thought was really cool. All different sizes, so I have yet to use them, but I just love that there's all these different sizes, and they've got that really, really cool marbled kind of a so I'm not sure if she got these at Ulta. 
I'm going to say Ulta, but anyways, you should watch out for those. The Sonia Kashuk Trio of the Mini Sponges. So cool, and they feel really, really, really soft. I haven't used them just yet, so that was cool. And then the other thing that she picked up was, which is always helpful, is one of the Cosmetic Brush Cleansers, and it's in the shape of lips, which I thought was really, really fun. And you've seen them all before. I will just quickly take it out, and I'll show you what it looks like. But uh, this one doesn't have any suction pads at the back of it, but you just lay it on, you know, the bottom of your sink, and then it has the different scrub surfaces mm, for cleaning your brushes. So I just thought that that was really super cool and extremely thoughtful. So thank you so much, Mom, for picking those up. I just thought those were awesome, awesome gifts. And um, okay, so now I'm just going to show you what um, I got from my parents for the rest of my birthday. These earrings are from H&M and they're just so cool. They are gold and black and they're nice and long and you think, well, why, why would that be good for you? Because we can't see it with your hair. But I really actually like long dangly earrings. I know, like anything that you would think would be the opposite of what I'd like, I should like, but I like them. And they're very fashion forward. And actually they look pretty heavy, but they're really not. And those were from H&M. And it's all metal, including the little black piece. And I just think it's kind of classy, you know, throw on some earrings that can really sort of jazz up an outfit. So once again, thank you, mom and dad. Those are a huge hit. And uh, this birthday, I went a little crazy with the makeup slash eyeshadow palettes. I don't know. I was actually in a little bit of a makeup slump. I was just feeling really uninspired, but then I saw a palette. Well, I saw two palettes, but I saw this palette uh, that I purchased with my Sephora gift card. And I have to say, I was kind of waiting for this company to launch something that really got me going. And finally, they did. And what am I talking about? It is Tarte. It is their brand new uh, Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. It is their High Tides and their Good Vibes eyeshadow palette. So there it is there. It is a very substantial uh, package. I'm just going to take it out for you and quickly show you. I will, of course, be doing uh, some swatches and a makeup look, but OMG. Look at that color and the actual little turtle with the water just going back and forth. That's how big it is. It is quite a substantial palette and uh, so therefore not a really good uh, travel palette, but that's okay. I don't usually travel with the big palettes anyways. So there you go. It's probably blinding you with my uh, Ikea light. Let me just put that there for you, but look at all of those colors colors. Oh, it's really nice. I think you have the four shimmers and you have four um, mattes. And then if you can see without blinding you, uh, then you have these beautiful pressed glitters in the middle that kind of divides the pan, which I think is really a great design idea. And uh, those are strictly pressed glitters. So if you're looking to kind of jazz up sort of a spring or summer look, I feel that this palette really has everything that's kind of really inspiring me for the spring and summertime. They're definitely my colors of choice for sure with all of those beautiful blues and those nice warm transitional colors. Uh, I can't wait to dive into that. So that was a huge, huge, awesome gift. So again, thank you, Mom and Dad. And then I picked up the House of Lashes because I needed some really good lashes to kind of really just finish off those cool eyeshadow looks that I'm going to be creating. And these are the Azalea House of Lashes uh, that Sephora carries. And again, I'm not sure if you can see them, but they're nice and light and very fluttery. And uh, I don't know. I haven't used these House of Lashes ones. I've always bought the Faux Mink uh, Sephora brand, but the girl told me that these were really popular and great, so I'm really, really looking forward to using those. And yeah, so that was good. And then I picked up a new Duo uh, Lash Glue because the last one I had was not latex-free. And 
I have just super really sensitive eyes. So with the last eye infection and everything behind me, I really don't want to be putting anything on that's going to irritate and latex is going to be irritating. So I got the duo, which is the latex free and that's in the green tube in case you wanted to purchase it. All the stuff I got from mom and dad. So thank you so very much for those beautiful, beautiful gifts. And now I want to show you what I got from my husband. So the first thing I went and picked up, because I have walked by it a million times, and I've just never picked it up because when I have money, I just want to spend it on makeup. I don't usually want to buy tools. What am I talking about is this. I picked up, this is the Sephora Color Swatch by Vera Mora, I believe. And so you've all seen it in the store. I'm not just telling you anything that's new or... But I really, really do want to use it uh, and when I do more sort of makeup tutorials. So this actual little scrubby here, you just take your brush between colors and then of course you just wipe it here and it just takes off all the extra, you know, pigment of color and then you basically have sort of a clean brush and you can pick up the next color when you're doing some nice eyeshadow looks. So anyways, very, very cool. So thank you husband for buying that even though he didn't know what it was but that's the Sephora color swatch so really really cool all right and I so needed if you saw my I think it was my February favorites of course um, one of my favorite under eye concealers for the more mature is this one here and that is the NARS it is the soft matte complete concealer I picked it up for my birthday so it's a little expensive but actually a little bit goes a long way and because it is a soft matte cream concealer you just need a little bit it blends out beautifully I don't find it settles into fine lines and wrinkles and of course it's not as drying as the actual shape tape or the other one that I just bought which is the NARS radiant creamy concealer but this is my ride or die go-to uh, just because you know that's a little bit more um, I guess a little bit more forgiving and certainly doesn't set into fine lines and wrinkles so if you're looking for something like that then you might want to give the NARS uh, soft matte creamy concealer a try all right and then of course when I was in Sephora could this girl walk by like a new highlighter no the answer to that question is no, obviously, if you know me. And so I had to pick up one of the two new releases for the spring Fenty. It's the Fenty Beauty, the kilowatts. And this one is um, in the, it's freestyle highlights. And um, of course, I've heard all really great things about Fenty's highlighter, but the packaging is to die for, even though you shall never see it and maybe my editing self will put a little picture here on the side so that you can see what it looks like but they were uh, they join the actual um, rest of the Fenty highlighter line but two of them were released for the spring this really beautiful ethereal it looks like very icy blue but actually it's is it very icy blue? It's not very blue, but it is icy. And I just thought it looked, it would look really, really good. Just kind of on the inner corner, just up by the brows at their high point. Um, it certainly is something that I don't have in my highlighter collection. So I was pretty excited to get that one. So again, husband, thank you very much. And you know, highlighters, they're like powders. I mean, they just go on and on. You couldn't possibly use up this entire compact so I really sort of cherish those and I use them sparingly which means it'll last a really really long time all right and the second last gift I got from my husband was the actual Sephora it's the smoky eyes eye collection with the five brushes and the makeup or the brush roll and I'm just gonna take that out and show you because I tried them and I really quite like them so there's the actual kit there I just love the color of them that's just kind of my sort of cup of tea and then you get this really cool little uh, bill fold that you can put your actual um, you know brushes in when you are traveling so I thought that was super super handy and of course 
It's magnetic closure. It's nice and slim, so it'll fit into your suitcase or your carry-on baggage uh, when you're flying or going on a trip. And then you get these awesome uh, five, and I believe they're the synthetic, the synthetic brushes, uh, blending brush, which is really, really good. It's like just perfect, almost as good as my 217 by MAC, but definitely a excellent backup to that. You also get the angled, what I call the brow, brow brush or the you know, eyeliner brush, whatever you want to use it for, but you get the angled. So it's a beautiful crisp angle. You get this really beautiful, dense, short bristle brush, which will be an excellent smudger brush for the bottom and lash line. You get this excellent, even more tapered little a blending brush to get right in there and you can add your accent colors or you can do your outer third. Uh, it's also tapered plenty enough to kind of get that inner sort of eye drop area for a little extra pop in your eyeshadow look and then you get this nice really beautiful and soft blending brush which will be really good for just packing on some color in the mid portion of your lid. So I thought a very well curated five brush the smoky eye kit from Sephora and I am just loving these brushes and I really love the color of them. Um, yes, so that was really nice. Thank you, husband. I'll put those to the side. And then the very last is the second eyeshadow palette. And this one, I wanted to buy it just before Christmas, but at Christmas time I treated myself to the first Morphe palette, which was the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I needed this. I needed it for inspiration. It's massive. It is the Morphe and it is the 39A Dare to Create palette. When it first came out, I completely just missed the bandwagon when it was supposed to be limited edition and then it came back and it's in Sephora Canada here for all us Canadian gals and I just couldn't resist. So this is 39 fantastic shades. Uh, there is the ginormous palette. Um, yeah, it's just an incredible palette. I've used it about two or three times and I just think that there is some really, really great eyeshadows there. Uh, lots and lots of colors to create lots and lots of different looks. So I'm actually very inspired every time I look at it. It completely reminds me of when I was little with the ginormous Crayola crayon packages that I always looked forward to when I was little and would get. And then I could do all of my coloring. So now I have just exchanged Crayola crayons for the ginormous eyeshadow palettes. That's me in a nutshell. So I think that I have included pretty much everything. And even though the spring launches just keep on rolling, they can just roll by me because I have lots of inspiration, lots of really great fun things that I got for my birthday um, just through my husband and my wonderful family and all of you that gave me such wonderful, wonderful birthday wishes uh, through Facebook and Instagram. So thank you so much. I certainly feel very, very, very blessed and loved and I appreciate all of it immensely. You have no idea. But just watch for, uh, you know, upcoming videos as I upload them and we're going to be testing out the eyeshadow palettes and the brushes and the Fenty highlighter. Uh, it's all going to be on my channel. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give this a huge thumbs up and a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the bell. And then that way you'll be kept abreast of when I upload my videos, which is usually every Sunday once a week. As I always say at the end of every video, you all have an absolutely fabulous week. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. Bye. Mwah.